just from the beginning, it was incredibly inspiring right away. Uh, the quality of the work, the intensity of the work, it was, it was very clear uh, that a lot of wonderful things uh, were going to be exposed to us over the next day or two. When I saw so many fantastic projects for the whole the world, these young uh, people are fantastic. For the International Velox Award, we have every year great expectations and, and, and big hope for which projects will we receive this year. And it's always uh, exciting to see the variety of projects and also the amount of projects. Uh, but I would say on a general level, we are very, very happy with the submissions that we've had this year. We want the students to, to look at any aspect of light and, and we are surprised every, every year because uh, they are actually finding new uh, relations uh, with daylight. The area is very cold. This year we have decided to have two different categories uh, for projects. One for daylight in buildings and one thinking out of the box doing daylight experimentation. Coming here as a judge, I was hoping to see a real hands-on approach to these daylight investigations. Uh, model making, um, you know, cutting into cardboard, lighting, you know, actually you know, really um, taking a craft approach uh, to these investigations. And I did find that in several key projects, and I think that did come through in the winners, uh, that we chose that that was a kind of shared passion for that kind of investigation in the jury. I think there was a great variety of, of projects uh, we've seen over the last um, uh, two days um, out of a total of 600. Uh, also being able to choose um, a total of 10 winners. And um, yes, the winners, they, they do uh, show a level of uh, investigation. They do show a level of understanding in terms of how daylight um, is part of architecture and how daylight helps to, um, to basically generate space, which is one of the most important elements in architecture for us. Lighting has such a powerful sort of effect uh, on the spaces that we make, and at the same time, darkness. So really, it was, it was really nice to see kind of a variety of uses uh, of light as a tool. It's beyond sort of just uh, creating a building. It's about inspiring. It's about creating narratives through architecture creating sort of uh, sensational, sort of phenomenological kind of experiences as you pass through architecture. So the first project is in the category of daylight in buildings. I think what is really interesting about this project is that it's that's a very viable uh, uh, project. It's a project which can be realized in reality. And it works on the basis of uh, bringing daylight into very dark spaces in, in city centers or even in sort of uh, underground spaces uh, during daytime when a glazed box uh, penetrates from the facade outwards and where a prisma uh, in this uh, glazed box brings daylight into uh, the dark space. And then at nighttime, uh, the box can be pushed outwards and basically does the same, but then the other way around. I think it's illustrated in a very beautiful, uh, but also in a very simple ways. The project Redistribution of Light is the winner in the category Daylight in Buildings. The project we selected for the um, Daylight Investigations Award is actually quite a, an intelligent project, we believe. It's a project which works with daylight, but um, where daylight normally um, has, a, has an effect on the visual senses of, um, of people. In this case, daylight is also uh, being transformed into something uh, which can be sensed by um, touching uh, surfaces. So it, it is a project which finds a solution for blind people to actually read um, shadow and, um, and light. I 
think what um, we found in the winter was a very detailed look at just a single building that they had created um, with a very beautiful diffused light throughout it. It was complete in having looked at the section and the plan of that building and its proportion and also in the quality and characteristics of the light that was created in this space. Um, and that project was called Ceremonial Room. In the daylight investigation category for Western Europe, we were looking at for projects that had made a careful study and really gone into detail, perhaps with model making or drawing. Um, and what we found in this particular study was a beautifully presented investigation into the paintings of Hemershoy. Um, and that project was called Hemershoy's Grammar. So the winner that we chose for daylighting investigation, um, we really sort of ended up narrowing it down to that one because there was a real clear sort of investigation in daylighting and about shading. So this sort of kind of the opposite, how do you control light uh, and manipulate it? Uh, and so this project in itself was really kind of a great sort of evidence of um, you know, really sort of looking into the way that we use buildings and the way that we control light from the inside. Uh, and it was just, you know, it was really beautiful to look at kind of a series of studies, really. So from the Americas, the Daylight Investigations project that ended up really standing out for us was the Automated Blinds project. So from the Americas, uh, from the daylight in buildings category, I think for us what really sort of defined the winners in the end uh, were students who really pushed ideas. There was, there was really kind of a sense of exploration and investigation and curiosity. Projects for Daylight in Buildings is really looking at the community uh, where the uh, lighting is, is very inefficient. Uh, you never know when there is electrical lighting or not. Uh, the streets are very narrow, the buildings are worn out. So it's not very safe uh, to walk around in the neighborhood and electricity is, is really independent and, and unreliable. So the idea of this project is to bring daylight into these communities, uh, quite simple uh, inclusions of elements uh, to the roof that will ensure the collection of energy for electrical light, but also to ensure that daylight can pass into the buildings and can be used in the building during daytime. The winner of the category uh, Daylight in Buildings from Africa is called Shelter Light. The other project in the category Daylight Investigation is considering light and shadow. Uh, it's considering a very dense area, low rise buildings, but very dense. Uh, and in this case, it's also about security, safety for the people walking around in the narrow streets. So the, the project is dealing with how to create shade during daytime, how to uh, charge uh, lamps, that will provide the light uh, during nighttime. So the sun will provide uh, the charging of these elements in the street, giving street lighting for the people to access safely to their buildings. And the project title is Light and Shadow. Quenchless Light was the project from the East Europe in category Daylight Investigation. In this project, we saw many ideas. In my opinion, this project is brave. We will be looking for 
many days, many months, and we find it uh, each time. So we will be watching on uh, it, new ideas. In category daylight and buildings, putting the light to the inside, to the interior, but close also the light uh, by the special window. This uh, window, our moving window, this building uh, looks like a sculpture because the windows are used only if the weather was very sunny and was hot outside. Fantastic uh, graphics. The title of this project is Light Scattering Window. It was exciting to know that schools from around the world and students who are, you know, young kind of the, uh, the future of architecture are really studying relevant things and they're excited and they're experimenting with modeling and with drawing and with rendering and uh, really sort of getting under the surface of architecture. I don't think you can really talk about lighting kind of as an isolated thing. Uh, it's such a fundamental part of architecture. So it's really kind of wonderful to see that schools uh, right now from one side of the globe to the other uh, are really sort of pushing these kind of ideas. My overall impression of the projects was that um, architects around the world, these students of architecture, are really engaged in a lot of the social and political issues of our time, from air pollution to the refugee crisis. And they're really seeking uh, to help um, and to, to explore solutions involving daylight on how they can address some of these concerns. These are very specific problems, and I think the ones that really stood out uh, were the sort of investigations that uh, were there to solve local problems. Uh, I think that's what made um, what we were about to look at and what we were going through so exciting, uh, because it's, it's very sort of uh, current and relevant to the time that we live in. And I think there are, there are key trends around the world that we can see um, coming through in, in the entries to this award. What I did miss to a degree was the research on uh, the effect of daylight to people, especially what we, what we nowadays call healing environments, or how daylight could help to improve the, um, uh, the state of mind of, of people, where I personally believe daylight could help uh, uh, healing people to, to a degree and I think there is a there is a big task for architects to find solutions and to create space to create an atmosphere where people um, maybe can be slightly being distracted from their uh, daily routine uh, where light in in general also uh, helps people to uh, to improve and to um, uh, basically to heal This is fantastic time for these young people. I'm jealous, believe me. Now, all is possible. For Velux, it's very important to be in contact with the future generations of architects. Uh, so that's why we try to get a close collaboration with the School of Architecture with the schools, with the teachers. Uh, we want them to engage in daylight investigations and in teaching in daylight. So this is a very nice opportunity for us to have a dialogue with the schools around in, in the globe. And also to, to, uh, to see all the exciting uh, considerations that they have in, among the students and in the schools of architecture. Uh, these students will be the future generations of architects. Their considerations and, and their concerns around daylight is obviously very important for us. Now we have seen all the projects on screen. Uh, we don't know the students, but now we will invite all the 10 winning students to Berlin at the World Architecture Festival. 
They will meet each other, but they are also going to present their projects and they will be in a competition for the best projects in the two categories, daylight in buildings and daylight investigations. You have sent in the project for International Lelux Award 2016. Uh, we liked your project very much. So, uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's amazing information. You were the winner of the category Daylight in Buildings. That's, so that's amazing, thank you. You will be one of the winners. Well, <laughs> well thank God. <laughs>